I'm Archie Luxury, and welcome to the program, fuckers. And uh, you think last week was bad? You think last week was bad? Well, fuck. I um, I I started a war with an army, the Salvation Army. I offended a colonel, Colonel Sanders, and uh, it couldn't get any worse. You'd think that, don't you? But this week has started off on a rotten note. A rotten note, fuckers. A rotten note. And what's happened, fuckers, is I had a fan who recently donated $150. And uh, I posted a video, and uh, I was talking about the YGN turds, YGN turds, and I got a link to the video. Anyhow, fuckers, anyhow, he left a comment. What's rude inco and inconsiderate is you, Archie, not answering my email after sending you $150 to make some videos answering my questions in that email until I send you another email to remind you. You say you'll be back to me that same day and didn't. It's been two weeks and nothing. What the fuck? I really like your channel and was excited to hear you talk about my email in your video. You have let a big fan down and now I wonder if you're just taking people's money and don't give a fuck. That's fucking rude. Steve. Oh, Steve. Steve, Steve, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I am so sorry. So, uh, Steve, without further ado, let's read your email to me. And uh, I deserve to kick up the ass. Don't worry about that, Steve. You are on the money. I need to kick up the ass, okay? So, uh, very good idea. You got my attention, Steve. Don't worry. I'm, I'm fucking all over you like a bad suit. And so let's have a look here at Steve's email. And he says, Hi, Archie. My name is Steve and I live in the States. Uh, I won't name the state because he, he may not, now that he's sort of a bit angry, we'll just, we'll just cool it a bit. And recently found you on YouTube and I absolutely love it. I have learned a great deal about watches, and because of you, I now have a bug for fine timepieces. I have submitted $150 to your PayPal account as a way to say thank you and hopefully encourage you to create some videos on my behalf. I want your advice on the following subjects. Please feel free to mention me and this letter in your video. It would be really cool and an honor. Number one. Watch boxes. Was curious about the ones in your videos you use, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in showing off a collection and what boxes you might recommend. Number two, wearing a watch with a tuxedo. Any rules on this and your thoughts? Red in one place, <clears throat> you aren't supposed to wear one with a tuxedo. Number three, money clips. What would you recommend both for casual wear and dress? Number four, wallets. Thoughts and advice on breast pocket types and others. Brands, materials. Number five, your thoughts on the Omega DeVille lines of watches in general and especially the Orbis Hour Vision Blue Face version. I love the way it looks and wanted your opinion on it. Quality of workmanship, value, etc. Info on myself. White guy like yourself, soon to be 53, single, a professional photographer and artist, an entrepreneur, a private pilot, and an adventurer. Thanks, and good luck in 2014. P.S. If I ever make it down under where you live, would love to meet you, buy your dinner, discuss watches, and the finer things in life over a glass of fine scotch. P.P.S. Also own a Nikon equipment and use... A D7000. Great camera. Good choice for your photographic needs. And uh, he'd also like an autographed picture. Steve, I am so sorry. I'm going to do a few things for you, okay? Number one, I'm going to make those videos. Number two, I'm going to send you an autographed pic. And also, an Archie Luxury coffee mug to apologise for my gross... 
my gross inefficiencies. So, uh, yep, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very, very sorry. And uh, you're right, I fucked up. I'm not a YGN turd who blames someone else, blames my parents, blames this, blames that. I fucked up and I'm sorry. So I'll be making those videos within this week. There's a promise from Archie Luxury to you, fuckers. Okay, let's take a commercial break and we'll be right back, fuckers. Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. Today I'd like to, uh, I'd like to do an advertisement for my good friends at Brisbane Vintage Watches. And uh, take a look here. I, I recently went into Brisbane Vintage Watches and I've, uh, here's, a, here's, a, here's a bit of a star photo. And uh, I got to tell you, these, these aren't the owners. These are some staff who work there. There's Fred, there's Gordon, and there's Alfie. Now these guys here, these guys here probably know more about watches than most of the retailers in Brisbane. And the thing I love about Brisbane Vintage Watches is the staff who work there are such enthusiasts. Fred with the braces on, he actually sold me his uh, Jager La Culture Reverso Grand Date. That's who I got it off from Freddie. And um, he's, he's just a lovely guy. He works there, not for money. Well, he, you know, the, the money the pays a few fucking bills. But he does it because he loves watches. And the same can be said for the other two staff there. Gordon. Gordon's a huge lover of horology. Loves a good timepiece. And uh, he's happy to give you personalised service and attention to help you make the right horological choice. He's a lovely young man who's developing a huge passion for wristwatches and really outstanding customer service. And finally in this photo here there's Alf, Alfie. And uh, Alfie's one of the, uh, the legends in the store there. Lovely guy from England, semi-retired, working in the store because he's a true enthusiast. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what makes Brisbane Vintage Watches so special. Sure, they've got a great range of watches. Sure, they've got pieces to suit every budget. But it's the staff they employ that make the shop so special. And uh, I, was, I was having a bit of a coffee or having a chat with, with Alfie and... Um, he was telling me about an Amiga he's got. He said, oh, I'm getting Amiga to do a, an overhaul on it. It's a very specialized sort of piece. It's a quartz piece. And he said, look, it's, it's, it's not economically viable to do it, but I'm doing it because I like the piece. And you've got to hand it to Alfie. Anyone who loves the hobby that much, where they'll make a poor business choice for the sake of horology, they can't be a bad, bad bloke. And uh, this is the whole thing. The staff at Brisbane Vintage Watches are very, very knowledgeable. They know their stuff. And you just come in and have a chat to them. If you're a lady looking for a present for your husband, they, will, they know exactly what to ask to get the perfect piece. Or if you're a man looking for a, uh, a gift for your wife or girlfriend, these boys here will look after you. And uh, tell them that Archie sent you. And um, please, Brisbane Vintage Watchers, just keep this a small secret between ourselves. They're great, great people to deal with. And I love them to death. I'm Archie Luxury. And this has been a great pleasure talking about my friends. Okay, and uh, thank you very much to my sponsors there. And uh, again, I say, sorry, Steve, I fucked up. I'll take it on board and fix it up. Okay, next viewer email, and it's from my good friend in WA, Nick Kovic. Hello, Nick Kovic. Hi, Archie. Please may I request a video on the best watch to wear to a bordello and or strip club. This may differ. 
Additionally, I really love your new videos on Ask a Watchmaker. These are really interesting and we are lucky to have this professional advice to provide some expert opinion. Great outcome. Interesting to know about checking the seals every 12 months. I would really like to see you do more in the following series. Places you would like to visit but haven't yet. This would be enjoyable to see. I really enjoyed your city review ratings. Thank you, Nick. Tell me what you other viewers think there. Has it got legs? Places I'd like to see. That'll be great. Let me know what you fuckers... Actually, I could, I could do a series on that. That's got some legs there. Okay, you're asking the question. What's the best watch to wear to the Bordello and or Strip Club? Now, Nicholas, these are two different types of watches. Okay, let me explain to you. The strip club, you want something flashy, you want something visual. The bordello, there's no fucking around. It's more bang per buck fuckers. Now, if you're going, oh, let me just give you this bit of advice. If you want really good service in a strip club, the best rule number one is to try and be a nice fucker. Okay, the girls there... They get people who are jerks and, you know, just always be nice. That always works well. Okay, for a strip club, I recommend something preferably in gold on a bracelet, like a Rolex Submariner in gold. Alternatively, a two-tone Submariner with a blue dial. It stands out like dog's balls. A Rolex Day-Date President. Platinum? Not so. Go for the yellow gold. That is your ideal strip club watch. I'll give you another tip at a strip club. When I used to frequent one at the Gold Coast, I used to bring in $1 US notes. I used to flip them to the girls, and I'd say, hey girls, these are worth about, worth about $30 each, but um, you can have them as a tip. And they'd be in your lap and laughing. You could never go back, because after they tried to cash them in, the next day you were fucked but it's just a great great gimmick also you can try that with Polish Izetta and um, Indonesian Rupiah great tip there um, the Bordello watch look Bordellos you want bang per buck I tell you honestly sometimes going to a strip club I could get an independent service provider who would provide full service for the same price as a 60 as, 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 as a lappy, okay, a lappy is what, $60 for a 20 minute lappy? I'd rather have full service from an independent. And uh, that's what I prefer to do for my bang per buck. But uh, I gotta tell you, you know, if you're going to a bordello, look, I'll be honest with you, none of this shit matters. Going to a strip club, the simple rules, I'll give you five fucking rules to get as much out of them as possible. Number one, be polite. Number two, make sure you've had a shower and you do not fucking stink. Okay? That's a really big turn off. Number three, you're always polite and courteous. Number four, you ask them and tell them what you want. Okay? Don't be shy. Don't beat around the bush. And number five, number five, a modest tip helps to lubricate the situation. Personally, I've done a lot of bar hopping in Bangkok. Much better bang per buck than the Western world fuckers. But uh, your wristwatch, it's really, 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 really down the tree. They don't really care. They don't really care because their girls are normally so young. You know, they're 20, they don't know luxury brands. So really, if you follow those five things, that's going to get you more play than wearing a Rolex Day Day in solid gold. Okay? Because at the end of the day, it's what they can get for themselves. They don't care about you. Okay? So that's, that's my advice there, fuckers. So, there we go. Okay, fuckers, that sort of... Uh, 
been a bit bit short viewer emails. I want to have a talk to you and tell you some projects that I've got in the pipeline because I, I like I like to bring projects. I like to tell the audience what I'm doing. Okay, fuckers. I'm working on a new let me put this down, fuckers. I'm working on another another channel. It's going to be called Archie Luxury News. And it's going to be a news and current affairs type program. So it's, I'm gonna, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna start a new channel very soon. I've also got another channel in the pipeline, the best of Archie Luxury, where I'll be highlighting the hundred most popular videos. Heaven knows I've got enough videos. I've got about almost three thousand videos in production at the moment. So I'll be putting the top 100 in a special channel called The Best of Archie Luxury. So, um, yeah, that's some plans that I, I'm, I'm working on there. So, fuckers, please, fuckers, fuckers, please, bear with me. I'm running a bit short. I, I, I've got your uh, coffee mugs to people who've paid me for them. I've got them, I'm getting them sent out next payday. I'm just running a bit short. And uh, if I'm running a bit behind, please, just a, a polite, prod, <laughs> polite prod and a small donation often helps. I'm Archie Luxury and this has been Viewer Emails. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Fuck! You pissed off a customer who gave you 150 bucks? Are you mad?